Hi guys, um, this is my update to uh, my unboxing and installation of this cooler, uh, Cryorig Quad Lumi, the H7 series. And uh, these are just some of my thoughts um, about its performance. Okay, right now this cooler is sitting in my case, which is the Fantex uh, P400. Okay, this is not the silent edition. As you can see, the top air vents are open. Alright, this is a tempered glass version. It's really quiet. Okay, right now the fans are set at 60%. Okay, you can't really hear the fan at all. Let's move up to the top. Just a little bit of humming, but otherwise on this side, you can't hear the fan. Alright, let me just move a bit closer. This is what the cooler looks like from the side. Okay. Just the fan lights are on. The cryo rig logo light as well as the actual LEDs are not on because you actually because I set it to a music setting so let me just turn on the music and you can see for yourself Okay, so once the music goes off, the lights goes off too. Okay, I haven't turned on the case LEDs yet. So just turn it on and have a look. Okay, so the white LEDs on the fan actually reflects whatever case light uh, you have coming up. Okay, of course, it depends on where you put the LED strip. Mine is placed just down here next to the fence all right so at least the lights are not in my eyes all the time okay let's change the colors you can see from the bottom what color is showing right now okay Okay, so basically, I think uh, they made the right choice uh, in making the front LED white. So at least whatever LEDs you have running in your case, it will actually reflect quite nicely. Okay, so basically this is just the, well, my experience with the LED lights. Something a bit more interesting is heat. Now some people have been asking about um, the performance of this uh, cooler so I'm just gonna give a quick show here now you can see I've got uh, the CPU running at 3.7 gigahertz uh, voltages 
is over here. Uh, it's about 3, 1.35. I haven't set it higher because I find that it doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay, what you want to take note of is this package temperature. Okay, this one will show uh, the kind of temp the CPU is running at. So right now I'm not doing anything. Ambient temperature is about 32 degrees Celsius. It's really hot right now in Singapore. It's, it's about uh, 2 p.m. So I'm getting the afternoon sun partially in my bedroom. So kind of hot. So you can see the average temperatures are about what 42, going up to about 46, sometimes spiking up to 50 degrees, and you'll drop back down. So this is your average temp, okay, without doing anything. I'm gonna run Cinebench, and you can see how much temps actually go up to. Okay, these are some of my past results. Okay, this 3.7 gigahertz uh, is actually on a different BIOS from what I'm using right now. I'm going. I've gone back to the Azus BIOS 0612. Uh, I actually went up to 0805, I think. I have 0205. That is the latest Agasa. Yeah, I mean the. Uh, uh, latest micro update from AMD, I guess, uh, I think 1006. Uh, got my RAM running to 2933 MHz, but I've, I'm finding some um, problems when I'm using some apps, plus uh, when I'm gaming, the FPS actually drops down to less than 30 frames per second. But anyway, I've gone back to the old one, so uh ram running about 2133 okay uh cpu 3.7 gigahertz okay let's run let's run cinebench just take note of the package temperature here uh plus the voltage all right this is the voltage here okay just take note here we go you can see all the cores are running 100% right now Temps are at 61. And move this to the side. You can see once it's finished. Okay, something I noticed about Cinebench is that when it's done, okay, your results will come out, temps will actually spike. Uh, I don't know why. It will go out to about 70 degrees. Okay, you can see. Let me pull this one side. It actually went up to 69 degrees. Okay, uh, let's run this again. We'll run this a couple of times. Because I find that uh, the CPU would warm up quite significantly on your second or third run or, and when you go up to about five six uh, temperatures actually go really high uh, I've seen it go up to 72 degrees Celsius okay right now it's at 68 okay this is uh, just something to note if you're gonna be running your CPU at full ball you can see uh, voltages are at 1.35 okay okay temperatures drop down drop back down okay you can see the spike here is at 72 degrees okay now we try another run okay this is when I notice the steady temperature for the CPU I mean of all the, with all the cores running is about 50, 67 and probably on the 5th or 6th run 
it would actually go up to a steady temp of 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, so right now it's the ah, I see it's picked up. Okay, now temperatures will drop since you have stopped Sydney Bench. Okay, we go one more round. Strangely, it's at 54 degrees Celsius, which is good. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. I think, okay, 71. Okay, I think 54 is uh, an anomaly. I don't think that's the actual temperature it's running at. You try it one more time. Sixty three. Okay, the Azus AI suite is saying about sixty five. Voltages sixty-seven voltages running at about one point three six sixty-eight sixty seven. I think I'm gonna use AI suite. Okay, we run one more time. Sixty-four. This guy is saying sixty-four. Hardware monitor is still saying fifty-two. I think this is more accurate because I can hear the fans ramping up. Sixty-five. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Okay. Let's take 67, 68 as your average for this um, cooler right now. Okay, this cooler. A um, couple of days ago, actually, today is Saturday. Yesterday, uh, I got back from work. I opened up the case and I was feeling around this area, which is the fin stack, the top and the bottom and I could feel that there's like a air escaping through the fins okay the fins are closed on this band and at the back this band there but the center is actually open okay, let me give you a closer look okay you can see it's actually open here this side is closed so there's quite a bit of air that's escaping over on this side same, I mean, obviously the bottom will have the same effect so I tried something which was this guy this is a cooler I mean this is a fan from my old cooler uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO okay this is the blue LED fan and I actually stuck it to the back and I found that it make a huge it made a huge difference in the temperatures so let me just do that uh, do that install the fan at the back and get back okay see. hi and we are back okay, as you can see push pull all right so i've got a, the other fan in it doesn't hit on the VRM heat sink, pretty close to the rear fan, but still pretty good fit. All right, no obstruction or anything. And let's have a look at temps. Okay, 
So it's right now well in the low 40s. Okay, spiking up once in a while. Okay, let me get the Azus AI suite out. Okay, let it run at the bottom. Let it show the temperatures at the bottom. See the voltages up here, down here, CPU temps here, and package temperature here. All right, let's try Cine Bench one more time. This time, push pull on the H7 Quad Lumi. If you recall, temperatures were close to. 67, 68, right now it's about 50 here and it's showing 68 voltages, 1.34 1.352 so there's a delay here for some reason, I don't know why this is 68 70, 68, 67. Okay, that's done. Okay, let's go for another run. Okay, right now it's at 63, 57. So I'll always take the highest temperature, 63. Voltages 1.341 coming to the end. Let's run this a few more times. Okay, you'll just do a normal spike up, nothing to worry about. One more time. Now we run a few times because we want the case temperature to come up to a pretty high state um, provided the exhaust fan is powerful enough to well push everything out if not your case tab will be pretty high and if you are using your graphics card together with the CPU like in gaming uh, temps will go pretty high but of course when you're playing games your CPU won't be running at 100% right now I mean right now it's about 59 degrees on this side is 65 so again take the highest one okay that's done go another round sixty two here fifty five again take the higher one I notice for Ryzen this uh, 1600 the lower the temp I mean whichever this one or this one the lower the temperatures the higher your Cinebench score is alright pretty interesting so it's quite temperature sensitive okay, right now it's about 62 okay and it's dropped back down okay one more run. 63, 63 degrees Celsius. Six, well, 53. Ignore this one. Again, always take the higher one. 63%. Uh, 63 degrees Celsius. Voltages. 1.52. Below is 1.362. 64. This is 63, so stick 64. On average, I notice uh, there's about a 5 degree drop just by adding an additional fan. Now from yesterday's experiment and what you have seen today, that's not too bad. Uh, a couple things uh, this implies. First of all, mm, there's a lot of air leakage from the sides. Uh, probably the um, air pressure. 
by the LED fan in the H7 isn't powerful enough like the Noctua uh, the Noctua fans are fantastic okay there's a the air pressure is very focused you don't see uh, the pressure leaking out of the sides here well I've already tried it out myself there is a lot of leakage so adding additional fan would well, obviously reduce the leakage and draw in cool air from the sides cool air from top into the fan you notice that there are four heat pipes this fan could probably reach these two heat pipes then the air will start leaking out this fan at the back well it will draw the air back in and cool the last two heat pipes okay, it makes a lot of difference Okay, uh, if you're able to. So basically, this is uh, my experience with the H7 Quad Lumi uh, for a week. If you're thinking of getting one, put on an extra fan. <laughs> uh, it helps quite a bit. Uh, gaming wise, I don't think it'll do much because when I'm gaming, just with one fan, it'll hover around 53, 54 degrees Celsius. Uh, when the CPU fan is at 60% uh, so you probably don't need an extra fan uh, but if you want to you can certainly put an extra fan in that means you can reduce the fan speed from 60% to down to, down to about 40% if you find that there's, uh, uh, you want to keep your, your PC cooler I mean quieter at night that's, that's I think the main benefit right okay that's it for this video i'm gonna do another one uh where, about this case where i made some changes to the airflow uh, the main changes being there's a fan filter at the top here and a fan filter at the bottom which are these two i've removed them and replaced with actual 120 mm filters on the three fans that I have placed inside just have a quick look three fans uh, two of which are two of which being the top one and the bottom one being the default fans from the case uh, just a basic black fan mm, not that impressive and I changed well, I already added additional fan here uh, which is let me get it Cooler Master Blade Master alright 120 uh, pretty impressive fan it has um, airflow about 78.8 CFM at 100% fan speed plus check out the air pressure 3.9 mm H2O of course this is at max air pressure right uh, rather uh, max uh, fan speed so I'm gonna cover that in the next video uh, I've got one of these in the front here and the one at the back and I'm gonna explain why uh, this is much better than a normal airflow fan that uh, well a lot of the manufacturers are manufact uh, marketing as perfect for rear exhaust Okay, so until the next video, take care, bye.